and this is my presentation for project three, which was uh, creating uh, your own movie poster using typography. So let's get into it. Here we go. And also, just off the bat, uh, switching between slides on my MacBook is being very weird after the second slide. It just takes a while to load, so I'm sorry about that delay. Uh, but anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing we did was 30 thumbnail sketches for ideas. And as you can see, I have all my 30 right here. Um, and what I did differently from most kids uh, was that, <clears throat> excuse me, was that um, I saw a lot of people stick with a few designs, like w one or three designs, and then they just did a bunch of thumbnail sketches on those three designs. So they had like, let's say like, 10 thumbnail sketches of one certain design but i decided to go with every thumbnail sketch is a different um is a different movie so i had just a 30 ideas of what i wanted to do i mean we have some repeats of multiple movies like um as you can see akira and then pulp fiction is redone a lot but it's all just like different ideas it's not the same idea for that movie it's a different idea for that movie if you get what i'm saying um but yeah so let's move on. Sorry, it might be a little laggy here. But we're going to move on to the mood board. So the mood board is just what I want my poster to end up feeling like. This is just the ideas of examples, colors I'm using, font I might use, poster examples. So I wanted a simple designed poster, as you can see, with um, black, black and red uh, colors all around the poster uh, like this poster on the bottom and these were the fonts I was thinking of using but I actually didn't use any of these fonts I used Times New Roman because it fit my poster in the end the best and it was just the most simple one um, but yeah let's continue on oh, sorry let's go back okay so these are my three finished rough sketches so after doing the mood board and the 30 thumbnail sketches we had to pick three of the thumbnail sketches and give them some more detail in rough sketches so as you can see the first one i did was the it movie poster with the eye being the balloon and it was going to have a black background then i had the matrix movie poster with the two, with the red and blue pill with the glitchy font and this was going to also have a black background all of these are going to have black backgrounds just I, I just was set on that and then we have the pulp fiction poster with the gun and the this is actually the one I did for my final project, which you will see in a bit. But yeah, these are my three finished rough sketches that I came up with. Let's continue moving on. To feedback from another student. So we got we did peer reviews halfway through this project, and the feedback I got was from Karina Bond, I believe. If I butchered that, I'm sorry. Um, so her feedback was just that my mood board went really well with how I executed my sketches. She thought the simple design and was show, it showed in the sketches and all that. Uh, she wanted me to maybe try going for my first thumbnail, which was a sketch for the movie Nope, and the letters were getting sucked up by a UFO, but I ended up not doing that just because I just didn't. I, you know, that's a recent movie. I wanted to do a movie I loved. Um, and then she said the Matrix poster with the two pills is a little overplayed, and maybe I should try something different, which I agree. That's why I ended up not doing the Matrix poster. And then the Pulp Fiction poster, which is the most feedback I listen to the most, was to make sure that typography is the main focus and that the gun is not the focal point. So what I did was I made the gun much smaller, and the font is just, it stands out. You can tell once you see it. So let's move on to that. So this is the finished movie poster I made uh, for Pulp Fiction. As you can see, it has the black and uh, red tones I wanted, and it's a very simple design with uh, the font definitely being the focal point, the name Pulp Fiction, and the gun just being much smaller than it was on the sketch. And then the background is supposed to look like a Bible, which I kind of pulled off. I think I think it turned out really well. But yeah, this was uh, my finished movie poster. I had a lot of fun making this project, and I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, watching this whole process of me making this poster. And in the end, I think it turned out awesome. So thank you guys for uh, listening to me.